folks we pull over here on the uh, perch and we got one <clears throat> we'll see if we can catch a couple perch we ain't caught nothing else it's been a rough time See if we can catch a couple. I'm seeing a couple on the bottom. It's like they're coming, starting to get ready to feed. So we might catch a couple perch. Hopefully. If I can get the cameras all rolling. The cameras don't even want us to come on when I tell them to come on. But uh, we got a couple perch out here. Let's see if we can catch them. There he is. They're biting. Starting to bite a little bit now. Maybe we'll catch a mess now, up into the day. I see him swarming on my jigs down there. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, my. Got him. White perch. I believe we're going to get on something now. We're stirring them up. Up into the day a little bit. And that's a nice one right there. That's a good one. That's the kind we're looking for. The kind you read about in perch magazine. Pull it back out. Might have something going on here. Get these rods out the way. That metal rods in the way. We got perch out there. It's funny they they uh, you pull up on you don't see a thing. Then you drop down, and start fishing, they show up. It's the darnest thing you ever seen. These perch. They some down there now. They starting to stir up. I see them right on the bottom. I know you can't see it for the glare. But they're right on the bottom on this doggone fish finder on this live scope. You got to get it to the bottom to get them. In the 39 foot of water. There he is. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. There he is again. He hit it again. They all over the bottom. I see them. Barely can see them. Let's drop it down and catch them. They'll probably hit minnows too. Let's try to catch them on the jig first though. Might catch bass. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. <sighs> How big he is, but we got him. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. We are uh, using Charlie Brewer three inch grub on an eighth ounce head with a lid above it, and then we got a Charlie Brewer inch and a half grub at the top on an eighth ounce head on this rod. We got the uh, walleye version of the St. Croix rod, and then we got a uh, uh, the uh, uh, Rancho Reel as spinner reel, Titan 2000 Rancho. And we got eight pound braid on it with floral carbon where the jigs are on the tr on from a swivel to the jigs. Didn't get one that time. They still there though. A lot of times these jokers bite better right at right before lunch. Ten o'clock to lunch. Ooh, there was a bump right there. Missed him. They stirring up on it. They'd probably take them minnows, throw the minnow out. There he is. Got him. Oh, my. Got him. He nailed it. We might have two. We might have two on this one. That joke is pulling. That joke is pulling, people. Oh, my. He's pulling. Two at a time. That's why. Two jumbos. What? Two jumbos. Oh, my. You see it? Look at that. Jumbos. I'm about to my jig. Put it back down. To the bottom. Oh, where the big girls lie. Got to love some big girls. I'll tell you, we tried crappies. Crappies ain't doing nothing. I never got but one crappy bite and he hung down and I missed him. I don't see them now. And left. Doggone, I hope they bite quicker or more than that. 
there was quite a few down there on the bottom there for a little bit. I tell you, when they lay flat at that bottom, you ain't gonna see them. There he is, I missed him. They down there on the bottom. Oh, he hit it on the way down. Good gracious. He hit it on the way down. What? He sure did. Nice one too. That's a big old perch. That is a nice one. What? Good eating size, huh? Let's take this dog on lid out of this thing. It's aggravating. Alright. Throw it back out. We got a bunch of them down there. You see them right on the bottom on this live scope. See them on the bottom swimming? They all that in the as soon as we get to moving it, they'll probably they'll probably take it. As soon as I start reeling it. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh my god. Look at the whole swarm of them coming up. When you see that, they start to feed. The whole drove of them come up. I'd have five jigs, I'd have five perch on them. See that? And I mean good ones too. The kind you read about in Perch Magazine. They're ready to bite now. We're gonna catch them too, folks. We're gonna catch them. I'm telling you, we're gonna catch them. If they stay there, we're gonna catch them. Get it back out to the bottom. I wish I had a three rig on there now, but I don't. Sun's coming out. I think that's the difference. They can skylight it. They can skylight it. I love catching these perch when they bite. Hey, day, that's fun. <clears throat> All right. Get it down. Start working it. There he is. Missed him. There he is again. Missed him again. Got him again. They swarming now. You want them swarming. We can lay it to them. We got a full moon. Hey, we might have a good couple hours right here. We might have a good couple hours right here with this double jig rig. We got two again. I wish I had three rig out, but I don't. They big perch too. Them is the kind you've been looking for right there. Huh? Them there's magnums. What? Oh my. Magnums. Super dog magnums is out here. And they bite. Let's get it down. What? Let's get it down. What y'all say? Look at that fish finder. Look at them right in there, all on that left side. See them on the bottom swimming, swarming around? Thousands of them. We're going to catch them. When you see them like that, they're ready to feed. And we're ready to catch them. Look at them. They're unbelievable how many is down there. We're going to get them too. They're in 41 foot of water. There he goes. He hit it. Got it again. And again. Got it again. Missing them. Drop it back down. We missed them three times. Uh, and the other fish finders showing them too. They out here, buddy. They here. Hey, they hit it again. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Oh, Lord, there he goes. We could throw a metal out, but we wouldn't be able to operate all with two rods right now. They, there's too many of them down there. That's the most I've seen in a while right there. That is the most I've seen. And I mean, oh, Lord, we got a bass. We got a bass and a perch. Huh? We got a bass and a perch. Is what we got. What? Uh oh, one just got off. The bass got off. We had about a four pound bass and this perch at the same time. And the bass got off. Look at that. He sure did. Got off. Look at the fish down there, y'all. Look at the fish. Look at the fish down there. See them? Oh my, I hope you can see them. See my jig going down? You see my jig going down? Right there. Okay, we're gonna stop this trolling motor. Watch this when I go to when I go to pull it. It'll be gone again. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, didn't get him. I don't know how. We didn't get him. We got pulled off of him is what we're doing. Get back. Let's get back. We're running. We pull them on a part. We're not circling like we need to be circling. All right, get it to the bottom. See if we can catch one. There he goes. Hit it. They got it again. They got it again. Oh, Lord, they, they chasing. They killing it. They on fire. That ain't got but one, though. Ain't got but one. Let's get it back out. Get another. Hey, day. They down there, buddy. 
And when I drove up here, there wasn't nothing. I couldn't see nothing. That just shows you can't find them by looking. You got to start fishing for them to stir up. I've been saying that the whole time, and that's what you got to do. 39, 40 foot of water. They everywhere. We're going to catch a load up, I think. They didn't get down far enough that time. We gonna catch a load of them. They're pretty good size. If they don't leave. Hey, they hit it. There he is, got him. There goes a nothing. Oh, I wish I had a three rig made up. I know that. I sure need a three rig right now. I mean, good gracious, look at here, look at here, look at here, two at a time, every time. Look at the shad they're spitting up. Shad, that's what they, they feed now, see? They feed. And it imitates that little shad that this, this jig does. This jig here ain't sitting right, but it, I'm going to throw it back out because they're biting too good not to. You see this shad right here? That's what they're hitting right there. Get it back down. We got them all over the bottom. They stirring and ready to eat. The mother load is in here. Huh? The mother load. I love getting on the mother load of these perch. Catching them real quick is what we're going to do. Tell you what, though, if you stop it and don't get it to the bottom and reel it, you won't catch them. You got to get it down there. They like to see it coming off the bottom. Tap boat. I don't see them like I did. Got off of them. They moved on what they done. There comes a couple. They hit, he hit it. They all down there, he drop it in them again. They, what they do, they settle back down at the bottom. Is what they do. Didn't take it. Now they're settling back down. That ain't good. One grab, one reached up there to get it. He didn't take it though. There he is, hit it again. There he is again. We got him that time. We got him that time. Oh my, we got him that time. We got him that time. That's a nice one, unless it's two. And one bigger. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. One old bigger. I mean, old good and good old big one. Uh oh, jig's messed up. That's why we didn't catch nothing on that. That jig is in total wreck. We need to change it bad. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I got a jig right here I wanna try. I wanna put it on, see if they'll take it. They ought to kill it. Take this, this one off. Take this one off. They ought to kill this jig. I'm telling you. That is a good looking jig right there. Let's see if they'll bite it. Green, blue, they ought to kill it. We done got too deep. Let's get back up on the hill. Get back up on the hill. I spent too much time messing with them crappers that I couldn't catch. Should have been out here catching perch. We're gonna make up some lost time right now though. I hope. I hope. They out here. We can stay on them. Keep them activated. Is a thing, keep them going. Uh-oh, got off of them. I don't see them now. Dad, blame it. Get back up here. Beat the boat. It's amazing you can get off of these fish so easy. Now nah, I ain't on them. Mm -mm -mm. They left. 
We lost him. Got to get back on this. There he goes. There he goes. Got to get back on him. There he goes. Nice one too. Big old perch. Got him on that Charlie Brewer. I ain't hitting that other jig yet. I don't see them like I did. Boy, we was on them there for a little bit. Hey, day they were everywhere. Got to circle swing this thing, try to get back, get them back going. There he is. Got it. Got him. Oh boy. Look at the going, would you? Hook okay, y'all not going. They're killing that Charlie Brewer. Oh, we got this one on the other jig I just put on. Look at the size of that perch. Huh? Look at the size of that perch. Beauty. Put it back out. Uh oh. Leah got down too close. Get it back out. Catch a nothing. There's some good ones in here. I mean, good ones. Back out and catch another one. What y'all say? See, he, he's bumping it, but he ain't taking it. Drop back down. Hit it again. I ain't taking it. What in the world's wrong with my jig? Let's check it. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that jig. Need a fish on it. There he is. Got him. Oh, we killing him. This is a nice one here. That shad ain't gone yet, though. That's a nice one. back out well hello folks hey the old fisherman back with you we fixing to clean up some white perch we caught 20 a couple today um not a lot but we had a good day and uh i'm gonna show you how i clean these and then we're gonna take it in i'm gonna probably do an outdoor fish fry uh and the cooker outside with these perch kind of do them the same way we've done the brim uh with cornmeal but i'm gonna show you how i dress my perch when I dress them whole, just like I did the brim. If you want them fillet, just fillet the sides off of them and do them in uh, mustard. But uh, we're gonna do these just like I did the brim and the cornmeal. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna be delicious, but I'm gonna show you how I go about cleaning them. Bear with me. You see, we got us a good little mess of them. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll take this, this uh, scraper you can get this at Walmart or any hardware store. And uh, what I like to do is I'll uh, just scrape the sides off. They're not very big. Some of them's nice. And then I'll throw them in a pan and rinse the scales off. We'll do several and then I'll... Uh, We'll go cook them. Somebody asked for a uh, a uh, catch, clean, and cook on a white perch, so that's what we're gonna do. They're a little bit harder than a crappy to, to scale. Uh, it's a little bit tougher skin, and the scales are a little bit harder to get off. You got to kind of dig in and do it. What I like to do is I'll uh, scale on each side, and uh, we're going to scale one more. Actually, the small ones like that is the best eating. 
when it comes to frying whole. You're going to fillet them, the bigger ones are the better. Naturally, because fillet on the little ones is going to be mighty small. Although you can fillet the small ones too. About the size of a shrimp piece of shrimp. Okay, at this point, after I rinse them off, we're going to get what a 7 inch Dexter knife. Uh, is what I use. This the, the handle turns black after it sets outside for a while, but uh, we're gonna rinse the uh, scales off. I'm just go ahead and show you how how to clean them, and then uh, I'll finish cleaning. And then we'll go uh, and, and take them in and and get ready to cook them. I like to go on each side of the uh, fins like that, just like I do my brim. Whole, small whole crappy, I'll do the same thing. Kind of push, push the fin out, go across the head, behind the head, and cut it, cut the head off. And then I'll go and, and take it and, and rip it from the, from the belly up. And then I like to put several notches. It depends on what size. And that makes them fry good. That makes them fry real good when you you see how the fin, with the fin out how it looks and the notches on them. That's the key to frying a, a fish whole right there. Okay, we'll do another one right quick. I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, and put a couple out here on the table. I like to rinse the scales off of them. You can see the scales all down in the water. Okay, like I say, I like to go on each side the fins. And push, push it right out. Real simple. Cut the head off at a 45. Take the intestines out and notch them. If they're small, sometimes I won't notch them but twice. Do a nothing. On each side, the fins. Kind of push from the bottom up and it pulls them right out. And then put the notches on them. That's the way we do it. Pretty simple. Once you get used to doing it, you can get pretty fast with it. Those fins don't do a thing but poke holes in a freezer bag. The tail won't do it, but them fins will. That's why I get rid of them, and I think they fry much, much better and eat much, much better with uh, doing them like I'm doing them. That's what they look like right there. Okay, this is a little one. This the size really that's the best, like a little brim size. Some people like the bigger ones because they got more meat. But the little ones are the sweetest. We'll do two more. And that'll give you an idea of what we got. And how to do it. That's simple. One more. And I'll let y'all go and I'll finish cleaning the rest of them. Hey, that's a nice mess of fish. We, we didn't catch much. The crappers didn't want to bite at all. And I finally found a few perch, and we was on them big time for about 15 minutes or less. And uh, y'all could see on, on the video that we caught them real fast, and then they were gone just that quick. And you see why? They're full of, they're full of shad. See the shad in there? I mean, that lake is so easy for them to feed. All they got to do when they get hungry is to run a couple shad up up and, and catch them and that's that's why they're so hard to to catch in that lake but you'll see them hey that's how we do it folks 
I saw the old fisherman cleans his fish. God bless each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. And if you look over there, old Logan's on the golf cart waiting for me to take him for a ride. Old Logan's something. Now, he loves it. He loves to ride that golf cart. But thanks for being with me. Hey, we're going to go in the house now. We're probably going to cook these fish outside. I haven't cooked. I got a new pot from Bass Pro Shop. One for $39 with a screener and all. We're going to hook up the gas and, and do it outside this time instead of the frying pan inside. And I'll get kind of give you an idea of how we do it when we do it outside uh, in a small version. Thanks for being with me. Appreciate all of you watching my show. God bless each and every one of you. And again, thanks for all the good comments and the presence. Take it to the inside. Let's do some cooking. All right, folks. We are uh, we in the kitchen. We're getting ready to prepare our fish. And what we're going to do is uh, we, uh, we're going to use corn oil again, plain yellow cornmeal, salt and pepper. That's what the ingredients we're going to use. And uh, we're going outside to cook the fish today uh, on the outside uh, venture of cooking fish with the outside cooker. We got our fish ready to go right here. Uh, we're going to put a little pepper on them. We already salted them. We're going to put pepper on them, and we're going to take them outside. And uh, let's go outside, and I'll show you how I'm going to battle these fish and all. We're going to do it with a bag today. We're going to put some cornmeal in a bag, and we're going to flip them up in the bag after we put our pepper on them. Get right back with you. All right, folks, we're outside. we got a little Bass Pro Shop cooker here. bought it for like 40 bucks. Uh, we got a little strainer and all that come with it, a little pan, aluminum pan. Hey. And we got our fish right here. While the grease is getting hot, I brought a pan out with different stuff in it. With the, but while the grease is getting hot, we're gonna uh, mix up. And uh, we got a bag of cornmeal here. And we're gonna put a, a, the fish in it in the cornmeal and shake them around. What we're gonna do is shake them around. So it gets caked up cornmeal. We got us some french fries we're going to cook. I'm going to just lay them right here on this, in this pan right here on this napkin until I get them all cornmealed up. Nobody eating but me, so we ain't got a lot. We got a good many, but not a lot. Be enough. Shake it around, get the cornmeal on it. When that grease gets hot enough, we're gonna throw these fish in there and we're gonna fry them. Hey, it's a nice day out here. And uh, hey, why not? Cook them outside. Clean yellow cornmeal is what we're using. Let this grease get hot. We're gonna fry us a few french fries to go along with it. Already cut, make it simple. All right, folks, it's time to see if it's hot enough. You put it in there sizzling like that, she's ready. See her cooking, she's ready. Drop them in there, deep frying. Deep frying. They cooking. 
When you see it bubbling like that, she's ready to go. We're going to we throw them babies in there till they get golden brown. We're going to take them out, and we're going to do some doggone eating. Got one we couldn't get in there. The frying pan of the house holds more than this little deal here. But this works perfectly, really. You don't stink up the house. Baby's looking good. Can't get over how beautiful the weather is out here. While they cooking, I walk around the goldfish pond. You'll see in the goldfish pond, we got, uh, actually we got four in here now. We had a little one to raise, didn't, he just showed up. So he raised in that, in that pond. And uh, part over here, the bushes are getting all grown up around it. I got to do some yard work. But you can see the goldfish down in there. These bushes are taking over. But, uh, hey, it's a little something to have. The more to keep up, the more you got, the more you got to keep up. The fish are frying great. They ought to be really good. I hate I got one extra left over. We'll fry them with the french fries. Ain't gonna make no difference. We only got a few french fries. It ain't but me eating. You see next door, I got a wooded area, a lot cleaned out. A lot of shades, it's natural. Got all my firewood ready for this year and then my boat down there, I'm having problems. High speed, still cutting out. I changed the bulb on it, the line on it, and still doing it. I might take it somewhere that somebody knows what they're doing to fix that boat. That motor's cutting out at high speeds. I put new plugs in it, checked all the lines. I don't know what it is. So it's gonna cost me more money. I already got about $250 in it and I ain't fixed nothing. New plugs, new bulb assembly for the hoses, for the gas. Uh, runs fine half speed, get it on up, it starts cutting out. You gotta get it fixed. I can't focus on fishing with a boat motor that's not working right. So I don't know when we get another video after this. I'll be honest with you. They frying good. I still prefer just to do them in the house. It stinks up the house, so that's the only thing. A lot of people don't like you to stink up the house. A lot of ladies don't. As you can see, they're looking really good. They fry better in that deep grease than they do that frying pan. I mean, both of them's good, but uh, it's less aggravation in turning them. This basket holds the grease up, or holds it off the bottom where it's the hottest, and it don't burn as bad. Cute little cooker, all you need. You're gonna cook for two or three people, all you need. Bass Pro Shop, you got them little tabletop. I got it on my old picnic table out here. Logan's out running around. He couldn't stand me coming out by myself. He goes down and sits on the golf cart. I hollered at him and told him, we're not going on a ride. You'll see him. He's running across the woods. He's chasing a squirrel over there. He run back to the golf cart. That dog is golf cart crazy. We just got off a two hour ride. Now he goes sits back on the golf cart. Logan, get up here. Come on. Won't listen. Not until I come down there and get him. He thinks it's an opportunity yet to get on another ride. He lives to ride on that golf cart. When I go in and look at football on Saturday, or baseball, or whatever's going on, he hates it. He lays around, looks at me, can't wait to go back out and get on that golf cart. Unbelievable. He's got us a tin pan since we're outside with a towel in it uh, to dump our fish in 
they getting close. Only problem with these parts, some of them are a little bit bigger than others. The small one might get done first. You see that baby? See all them notches how it's fried up? Ought to be some good eating right there. I'm gonna take the small ones out first because they done, the big one might not be quite ready. Although they look like they are. And they're pretty. You got to put that one more in there, we get him cooking. Turn back on the grease a little bit, it's getting too hot. Them babies look good, don't they? That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. That's gonna be some good eating. Like I say, we didn't cook that many. We're just gonna dump some french fries in. One thing about french fries. Now, I usually don't dump french fries in while I'm cooking a piece of fish. We're gonna do it today. It's gonna, with the ice in it, you gotta get back. You don't want it to get you. you cool that grease down some. You gotta be careful. That's one advantage of doing it outside. You ain't gotta worry about that grease splattering everywhere. Let's try one of these babies out. Look at that, ain't that pretty? White perch are delicious. Just as good as brim, or right close as good as brim, when they're small like this. Bones ain't as bad as crappies. Really good. Look pretty good, don't they? Folks, thanks for being with me. And uh, hope you enjoy the uh, catch, clean, and cook of white perch. Actually, I think they turn out better on the stove than they do this outside cooker, uh, my opinion. But uh, hey, we're going to take it in the house. And you see them. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hey, good meal for one person. We're going to get to eating.
This is what I'm talking about, folks. Look at this. Ain't it pretty? Hey, thanks for being with me. Let's give it a taste. Well, it look good. Pull off a piece, dip it in the ketchup. Mighty fine eating. French fries are good also. Mmm, mmm. Need to get a nap. Mmm, really good. Thanks for being with me on another episode of Love and Life with the Old Fisherman. God bless you.